So let's talk about it. This is church from Church's Intake. So I was saying you have to have a relationship with Jesus Christ himself. It says in the book, study to show thyself approval unto God. That means you need to open up the book yourself and study and learn who you are with Jesus Christ. And he will let you know who you truly are, not who your pastor would tell you to be, not who the church congregation would tell you to be. Sometimes the church has favorites. The pastor could have a favorite. Some people in your church and your church congregation, you guys are following the dogmas, like the, the religion side of it. Like, you know, um, what the church says, like you shouldn't do, like you have to come in a certain way or wear this certain type of dress to be accepted. Some churches want you to, to give them money to be accepted when it, it, it doesn't take none of that. All you have to do is just pick up a Bible, open it up and learn to learn Jesus. And a lot of people is just using the wrong authority. Like people thinking that, you know, if they go to a church and join a church, like the church is all they need. They go to a pastor, a pastor prays for them for the week and they think everything is good. What if I was to say that every pastor that prays for you is not in good ten intentions for you all the time? Maybe he might just be praying, talking, to praying to you in one way and in his mindset thinking another way. And then you over here thinking that the pastor's got you, you're good your good, uh, good uh, intentions at heart when they truly don't, they're truly against you. Or like you might have a church member that's against you or church members that's against you, gossiping and joking and stuff like that. Like that's not of God. So when you have these type of people around you and stuff, you got to assess the, the atmosphere around you. Is the atmosphere right? You know what I mean? Like when you go to church, you should be amongst people that are the same like you, meaning that you are all believers in Christ. Um, I grew up, you know what I mean? Being like an apostolic Pentecostal. So I know, you know what I mean? I know their faith. Like I can tell you what's good about that. And I can tell you what's bad about it. Like even I, I also went to a college. I mean, not college. I went to a school, high school. I went to a seven day Adventist high school. I can tell you good things about them and you know what I mean? Not everything over there is good. You know what I mean? Shoot. I went to a Catholic uh, school when I was a kid as well. I can tell you some things about them. You know what I mean? The whole thing is you could be Muslim. You could be Jewish. You could be non-denominational, apostolic, Pentecostal, Baptist, whatever. Methodist, you have to have Jesus Christ within you to be Jesus's child. So other than that, th it doesn't mean nothing. If you if you got the spirit of Christ within you, baptized in Jesus name, you know what I mean? And, and, and you and you following what your purpose, what God tells you to do, not what a person was to tell you to do, then you doing what you need to do. If um, your pastor tells you one thing and you get confirmation from God to tell you another thing, like don't do whatever he was trying to tell you to do, you know what I mean? Part ways from that. That means it's time for you to step. That means you guys aren't on the same scale anymore. That means something you either outgrew that, that, that church or that church isn't good for you. Or, you know what I mean? He just don't want you in that environment anymore because you are his. When you're his and that church ain't good, that means he don't want you there. And people be like, oh, why'd you leave? You left because God told you to leave. You left because things was a mess where you was at. So don't get caught up in the church because the church will always, always, human beings in the church, they will always deny what they don't want or don't understand. You know what I mean? But God will never deny you. God will always take you in. God wasn't even in the church like that. He was a street dude. You know what I mean? He was a street preacher out there with the hood niggas. You know what I mean? So 
people got to get that straight too. You know what I mean? Learn, learn the word, you know what I mean? For yourself and stop listening to others because many will come in my name and Jesus will say, away from me. I never knew you. So you have to know if you was to read your Bible that he's talking to the members of the supposed church. He came to chastise the church because what? The church is his baby. So that being said, you know, study up some more, learn some things out here. You know, I'm I'm new to this, this YouTube and stuff, you know. Uh, if you guys got any um, things that you want to know about, hear about, or you want me to start posting on uh, new topics, uh, whatever topic God gives me, I, I got a lot of things that rumble through my head. And I, I mean, like, it's like every time when I try to start something, it just it just starts going. Like, I start thinking about whole all these other different, um, you know, topics. But I got a lot of topics. I want to get the topics out that the people need first before I just start doing any old thing. But I needed to get this out so I can start going on uh, helping other people with uh, other parts in the, the, the book. And I'm going to start opening up the book, too. You know what I mean? A little bit. So um, y'all know that I'm not just saying it off the top of my dome. Um, you know, there's, there's scriptures and such. You know what I mean? But this, this is inevitable. This is, you don't need a scripture for this. You need to know. You need to, to follow Christ, not the church. Rebuke the church. Follow Christ and be a true believer in Christ and follow his statutes and guess what you're going to be a lot happier love is jesus and that's how he operates with love so if people aren't operating with love like your pastor if they're not elevating you you know the fruits of the spirit if they don't have those that means you need to go somewhere else and find those and find your people so this is church god bless take it easy